Well, yeah, I'm keeping my distance, but behind me, there are hundreds of protesters here at Utah State Capitol. From talking to a majority of them, I talked to many of them. They tell me they are protesting Joe Biden's confirmation to become the next president of the United States. And here behind me, you'll be able to see those hundreds of protesters, and it might be hard to tell from this angle. We are just keeping our safety up here, but some of those protesters are armed and have bulletproof vests, but others are, are taking it easy. They're just sitting in lawn chairs listening in. We've been out here since uh, about 1230 and protesters have been here since. As a reminder, this is lawful and protesters and protests are allowed on Utah's capital because it is public property. We haven't seen any forms of violence or seen any physical altercations break out, but there is a lot of yelling and there's someone chanting uh, on the megaphone right now. But we've also seen counter protesters that have had their fair share of back and forth with the protesters, but nothing uh, really out of hand yet. We, uh, of course, are continuing to monitor the situation uh, throughout the afternoon and night. And the crowd has gotten bigger throughout the last couple of hours. But from what I can see and what I've been able to gather on social media, these reports um, are pretty peaceful here. People, you know, as you can hear a little bit, are taking their turns on the megaphone. And from what I've heard throughout today, and now they're saying in quotes, steal the vote and are saying that the uh, election is rigged. Meanwhile, President Donald Trump released a video on Twitter just about an hour ago saying uh, calling for law and order and peace for protesters to stop around the country and uh, at the nation's capital. Also locally, Senator Mike Lee getting his fair share, and he was tweeting uh, a couple times today, and this is what he said, quote, the violence at the United States Capitol is completely unacceptable. It is time for the protesters to disperse. My staff and I are safe. We are working to finish our constitutional duty to finish counting votes today. Make sure to keep an eye on ABC 4's social media on Facebook and Twitter. We will be here the next couple of hours. You will see me again live at 5 and 6 for any additional updates. Reporting live from the state's capital, I'm Jordan Burroughs, ABC 4 News. Okay.